Like many homes devastated by Hurricane Sandy, a red sign on the front door of this one says, do not enter. But that doesn't stop Anthony Gaddy. He grew up here. I think that for 32 years this house has sheltered us from every storm and the door was always open no matter what we did. We got married and it didn't work out. I went to the army and came home, took off to another state and lived and came home. You know, you always find your way home and mom and dad were always here. Gaddy has set up a tent and a generator and is living in what used to be his backyard. He can't stop thinking about the night of the hurricane. That's my brother Dennis. Now this is the spooky part right over here. This is what scares the death out of me. His brother Dennis was trapped in a flooded car in front of the house. This is my brother's car. This is pretty much where he was water-wise when I got to him. He was frozen. He was scared. He was able to rescue his brother, and then they were both rescued from the house the next day. But he's traumatized from the experience. And my mind doesn't let me believe that I did get him out, and he's okay. And um, it just replays over and over again that he dies in the car, and I, I can't get past that point. His mother wishes he would leave. Well, I don't, I, I don't want him to stay here, but he refuses to leave. I guess he feels like he's protecting whatever we have left. As word has spread around Staten Island, a steady stream of people come to visit, giving him food and supplies. The house is scheduled to be demolished in a couple of weeks. And I'm hoping then at this point that maybe, you know, he'll leave because it'll be gone. There's nothing to protect anymore. Gaddy hasn't shown up to work since the hurricane. Right here, that's the water level. Instead, he spends each day trying to clean up what Sandy left behind. Ted Jaffrey, Associated Press, New York.